Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kendris. Welcome back to the channel. This video, I'm going to show you this cool feature in Clip Studio Paint, and it's called Object File. So, I just found out that you could do this in Clip Studio. So, you right click here on the layer, and then you go to File Object. Then, Convert Layer to File Object. And I want to convert this drawing to the object file. Uh, and then click OK, and I, I save it, you know, just give it a name. So, uh, now I created a copy, right? So, but you see how this one has a, an icon over here? Now the layer is different. It's, you see how you can, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a picture, you know, like, you can't, you can't draw on it and stuff like that. Uh, I already have this perspective. I already have this perspective ready, so I'm gonna match it. You know, I can go to object, object, and I'm gonna change how to transform. Make sure you change this because if not, it, it will not. You won't be able to change it. Like, uh, you won't be able to turn it like that. It will only go bigger and smaller. So make sure you click here to free transform. And <clears throat> then you can just match this to this perspective. You know, match the corners. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay. So now let me show you why this is pretty cool. Uh, you can say right click here, go to file object again, but this time go to open file of file object. And then it, it opens a new, so it opens a new file. And what happens is, If, so what happens is if I draw here, it will change this. So if I ch draw here, it will change this, even though it's in perspective. So uh, let me show you. I'm gonna do it in a different layer. So you know, doesn't matter, but just to so you can change it. So it won't change right away. But let's say start putting random stuff. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And then I'm gonna save. So when I save it, see, it appears here. So even though I have a change in perspective, when I change it here, it changes here. So it's pretty good if you wanna edit some stuff. So you can see even you can color it if you want. So uh, that's pretty cool. It will change over there. Uh, something else you could do is add like textures and things like that. So it's pretty cool if you like, you know, have the drawing and then later you want to add textures and you know things like that. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put some wood texture. I'm gonna put this. I selected this area and I'm gonna put this here. Put it on top. All right, so I mean, just to, just to show you, right? A quick example. I'm gonna save it, and then you know you get the the texture and everything is in perspective. So uh, if you do a drawing like this, you won't have to like match the texture to one perspective and things like that. You can just do it, you know. Do it like this, and maybe you do the line drawing like that, kind of make it, you know, go in perspective. Especially, this is especially good for like uh, this kind of thing, like a house like that, where you can draw like this at the front of the house, and then just make the perspective go that way, and then you can edit it later. I like textures and things like that, so it's pretty cool. And technically, you can always just 
do the whole thing where you put the textures and then you transform it like that to go in perspective. But, you know, if you want to change it, you won't be able to do it so easily. So the, the, so the cool thing about the object file, the file object, or yeah, the file object, the cool thing is that you can do it and change it whenever you want and it will be pretty easy. This is a cool feature that Clip Studio has and I just found out about it. So I'm sharing with you guys. I hope you got I hope you guys find it useful and maybe find other uses for it. Um, yeah, but I think for doing this kind of stuff or like houses, you know, like transform and things like that. Uh, it's pretty cool. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye.